Good evening, I'm Tanner Hesterberg. Kids at a popular camp on Lake Cumberland couldn't take part in gun safety courses last summer when thousands of bullets suddenly disappeared. Police say the months long investigation in Wayne County revealed the ammo was stolen. And yesterday they arrested the father of a father and son duo they say were responsible. Turns out the pair worked at the camp and took the ammo when they thought no one was looking. WYNT's Phil Pendleton has more on this bizarre crime. This all began months ago, June 22nd, when police say 50 year old Glenn Randall Dixon and his son Josh, who worked the Lake Cumberland 4-H Educational Center, began making off with boxes of gun ammo. Obviously, it's a serious situation when you talk about ammo, you know. It's 30 something thousand rounds of ammo. Police suspect the boxes of ammo were taken between late June and early July. Camp officials called police when ammunition for gun safety could not be found. They used that to learn, to learn safety in firearms and everything, and, and just to have it stolen from them where they can't even, even shoot is. is it's really disheartening. The Dixons were identified as suspects several months after the thefts. They told us about, you know, someone trying to sell them ammo, and that's what led us to um, Mr. Dixon and his son. And I spoke briefly with Glenn Dixon over the phone. He told me that he could not tell me much because he needs to speak with an attorney first, but he did say that he doesn't believe that the charges against him can be proven. Police say Josh Dixon is still at large. As to what happened to all the ammo, it appears all of it was either sold or is simply unaccounted for. Word that we got, they was getting $100 a box for 5,000 rounds. Court records say the Dixons made off with the ammo from the camp when, quote, the boss was gone. In Wayne County, Phil Pendleton, WYMT Mountain News. The camp manager.